One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we've been farming about 20 years here at this location. Been organic about six years. I went back to a school that I taught at when I had just gotten out of college. And at that time, they had moved in a bunch of these big hog confinement operations in the area. And I was driving past an old house that I lived in, used to live in and smelled this awful smell about five miles away from this house that I used to live in. And it was about the middle of July and there'd been a heat wave. Part of the smell was a stench out of that hog operation from the manure pits. And the other part of it was the piles of dead hogs outside the ends of each buildings that had died in that heat. And they were just piled out there. And I guess that's one of the things that put me over the edge <laughs> as far as uh, saying, hmm, I realize animals can die in heat related situations. I've had it happen to me. But I mean, that was just over the top. I just couldn't believe it in a situation like that. Just too much. During this time too, I had found out that I had fibromyalgia and was just doing a lot of research in it. And, you know, found out that what we consume and what we put in the environment is not necessarily the best thing for us. So then we started looking into organic. I honestly believe that there's an overuse of antibiotics in a lot of crop and livestock production. And uh, Mother Nature has a way of building up resistance to these things. And uh, that's going to be a potential problem further on down the way. We used to buy medicated feed for our hogs years ago. And, and we just thought it was a thing to do to treat them before they got sick. And, and it isn't. Like I said, if an animal's sick, treat it. If it's not sick, they don't need to put therapeutic levels of antibiotics in the feed just to promote growth and reduce the incidence of diseases. Years ago when we started wanting to, to produce more so the farmer can make more and we could feed more people it was great, but in the meantime what we put on these crops and what we put in our animals are coming back to really haunt us. my perspective on it probably boils down to the bottom dollar, wouldn't you think? That trying, like you mentioned earlier, is to be more productive, have fewer death losses, and produce as much as you could in as small a space as possible, and make as much money as you possibly could. But strictly yeah. economic in a lot of and respects. And it's just like any occupation, you know, you have to continue to educate yourself. Um, and I'm sure a lot of farmers out there that are, that are smart and, and do stay on top of everything do know what's going on. You know, has it been easy for us? No. You know, we have to work harder than we did before because it takes more work to produce that pound of meat. Actually, right now in our system, we produce more organically than we can sell. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my philosophy on it. I mean, it could be done. Yeah, it's more labor intensive, but yeah, it could be done. Yeah. Yeah, we may not have as much to export to different places because maybe, you know, we're, we're having to eat more of what we produce. Um, but it's kind of nice to go to bed at night and realize that, you know, the, what we've got out there isn't going to harm people. It's a safe product. And that right there says an awful lot. I'm John Rice from Tebbets, Missouri. And I'm his wife, Julie, and we are partners in JJR Family Farm.